What's up, everybody? Welcome to our channel. Hello. This is Jose. And Ken. We're going to drive through Pride de Ray Island. Apparently, you could just drive through the beach here. And there's orcas here, so I like it. I could swim in a water that contains an orca. And since you're allowed to swim here, well, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're just going to swim. Wait, drive. Right along the beach. We're going to do a beach drive. We've done beach drives before, but not like this. Not on sand. This is our first sand beach drive. And we're going to do it here. And I hope you guys are ready for a great video of us driving along the beach in Padre Island. This has been a video that some of our really good subscribers have been asking us to do for a while. And believe me, we've been wanting to do it. But, man, there's only one Jose and one Katie and a massive world to explore. Yeah. And there's only so much we can do at once. So... We're going to take a beach drive through a place that we've been wanting to go to for a while now and show you guys what it's like to drive along the beach here. Our windshield's a little sandy. This is a unique situation. We've had uh, dirty windshields. We've had windshields full of bugs. It's our first time having a sandy windshield. Mm -hmm. But we're going to go through town. We're going to do this. We're going to go through the town. We're just going to... Well, we could go to Corpus Christi. You want to do that? That's what I was trying to oh, get you to do because you wanted... You said you were hungry. Yeah, you know, we can't be here all day. And it sucks. Is that the north part of the city? The south part of the city? The busy part? Where is it out of the city? Because I want to make it to the north side of the city. I want to drive clear through the city. It's going to be pretty much through the city. On the north side? And through a bridge. Mm -hmm. On to what's called a bay area. Let me see where we're going to I want to do a clear drive to the city. Yeah, that gets us there. Mm -hmm. Only 18 minutes away. So I might, what I want to do is I want to drive to Portland and back. Mm -hmm. I want to drive to Portland and back. So we'll follow that route. But eventually we're going to lose that route. Shoutouts to the women of Corpus Christi who are not afraid to go out on the beach in a thong even though they're about 100 pounds overweight. It takes a lot of courage and believe in yourself for the complete opposite to do that. <laughs> I mean like either they believe in themselves a lot or they've given up on themselves. Either way. I think it's a special kind of mindset to say, you know what? About a hundred pounds overweight, but we're gonna rock this thong. I will not be doing that. Yeah. Katie's learned. Oh, this is Sandy right here. We gotta fly through. Ah, are we getting stuck? No. We almost got stuck. This truck will get stuck. It is a heavy, heavy chunk. I mean, cars are driving through it. Yeah, but they're not six thousand pounds. They're lightweight vehicles. Oh, we're getting stuck. I gotta go some speed, I guess. The problem is that those cars aren't as heavy as this truck. Mm -hmm. This truck is heavy, let me tell you. This truck, there's, there are cars going through here, but this truck, it's not a 4x4. Four four. Yeah, it is. As you can see, it's an awesome beach. Um, so I keep driving through it to turn around. Whatever you'd like to do, you just... I want to go sand drifting. You can actually do. probably cut through here. Right. I want to go sand drifting is what I want to do. So don't ask me what I want to do. Yeah, you can head through here. It's fine. Yeah, don't ask me what I want to do. Because what I want to do is go sand drifting. I'm pretty sure that's illegal here. Yeah. Leave it up to the one person from Florida to ruin this beach. Mm -hmm. Everybody's here with their families. There's a lot of around oh, the beach. Oh, look at what the sand does along the beach. Yeah. Just one guy comes from Florida, does donuts on the sand... The next day, after 50 years of allowing cars to drive on the beach, one stupid idiot from Florida ruins it for everybody by driving his heavy 2500. It's like what you did in the town I used to live in. Oh, yeah, where I went sand drifting in Port St. Joe. Uh, Snow drifting in St. Joseph. Yeah. And then you got everyone else to start doing the it. The whole town started doing it. Yeah. Police have been on alert after a crime rage rampant situation has spread throughout the city. Is there any word on what on earth happened in this quiet Michigan town last week? Nobody knows left. what happened. Reports say a YouTuber from Florida was seen doing donuts at the beach park and now everybody in town is doing it. Mm -hmm. Turn left, Jose. Any chance this person could be arrested and charged for destroying our city? We're not sure, but precedent. I mean, we're not sure what's going to happen, but Ron DeSantis has sworn to grant him his freedom if he's caught in Florida. <laughs> That's Florida for you. Like, is it? 
Ron DeSantis, the governor of Florida, has already sworn that if he is caught in Florida, he will not be extradited back to Michigan for the brave act of <laughs> attacking a northern state. That's where, that's where politics are today in this world. Turn right. Floridians will ruin anything, let me tell you. I know. Floridians will Turn ruin right anything. Padre, I've been I'm pretty sure, like, 22. now, like, it's a tradition in that town to go sand rifting at the park. Snow! Yeah, it's snow drifting. Like, how do they live there and not know they can do that? It's like law and order. Nobody thinks of doing something bad or weird. Or... Sure enough. Yeah. All right, man. And water's coming out of it? Yeah, it's just moisture from the exhaust. Right. Normal. Havana Nail and Spa. Where does it say that? Right there, right there. There's a Cuban nail salon? But there's no Cuban restaurant. How does that happen? The seagulls is like mm -hmm. a wild band of seagulls. I don't want to cook. I want to do nails. Uh, yeah, I can see how that would go. Where are we going? Two miles of driving road. Two miles of driving road. It's 79 degrees allegedly according to my vehicle, mm -hmm. but I can tell you what, my windshield would be like blowing up. I use one of Katie's nail, gl nail clip thingy, what are they called? Hair hat. One of her hair nail clip. Hair tie. Hair tie. Hair tie. Hair pies. I use one of Katie's hair pies in order to hold down. Ponytail holder. I use one of her pony donkey holders to uh, fix our camera mount which was broken. It's working so far. Actually it works better than factory. It's like I really figured the thing out. Because now I get elastic motion. Look. It's like super elastic. That's right how it's going to last. I mean, I'm sure at some point it's just going to snap and the camera's going to go flying through the windshield but in the meantime it's going to work pretty good. I'm going to put on my windshield. It's hot. If we keep the windshield cool, we'll have a great video. Uh, but we're in full sunlight, so it doesn't take much for the camera to get really hot. So now the car's moving. It's a great condition. Kind of lower. So, what have your thoughts been on this area? We we haven't gone into. Oh, look at those beach houses. That's beautiful. It's pretty. Yeah. What are your thoughts so far in this area? It's pretty. I have. I had a, a bad concept of Corpus Christi. What I imagine Corpus Christi being. It's like a bunch of like gang members wearing dickies like, hey Holmes, hey, we, you're not from around here, Holmes. Hey, why are you wearing that Michigan stuff, man? We're going to cut you, Holmes. Now, you remember that, that clip from um, from Family Guy? Yeah. Where they had bad roaches? And he's like, we got bad roaches. And they show like two roaches holding knives and like, hey Holmes, we're going to cut you, Holmes. Yeah. Hey, man, you didn't leave any pizza out for us, man. We're gonna, that's what I thought. Like, yeah. I thought it would just be like straight up gang banging. And I come here, they have incredible beaches. You're allowed to drive on the beaches. The women are like 100 pounds overweight and they're still wearing thongs. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but either way, it's it's a really like beachy, awesome town. Like I thought that this was just like a dump of a place and we're here and it's amazing. It's actually as nice as Florida, to be honest, right? Mm -hmm. You know, Florida's nice. known for their beach towns. This is a great beach town, Yeah. you know? And I can definitely see it being better in the future if uh, 500 Canadians move here every day. So, sometimes, like we've said this before on the channel, where you have a prejudice about a place. Like, like I thought there would be like bad roaches here, you know? And actually, bro, the people are friendly. They mind their own business. Uh, people just, they're just generally good people, man. Um, the food so far doesn't seem to be too good. You would think being um, so close to Mexico and, and other cities like Houston, you think they would have incredible food, but so far we haven't really ran into that incredible of a food scene here. Yeah. Um, just a lot of water burgers and just like a lot of like you know like name brand crap, which is kind of huh. You would think a city like this would have good food, but well, anyways. Um, Nice beaches, um, awesome waterways. You can drive right onto the beach. Actually, I would if this beach was in Florida, I would go here before our beach because you yeah. can drive right onto the beach. And then you got stuff like that, and that's cool. Yeah, 
it's like a cross between Pensacola and Panama City Beach and they told the beach and you get to drive a beach so yeah. despite the fact that I had a very Starbucks okay overlooking the water that is very cool you'll see very few Starbucks overlooking the water like that yeah you see you're overlooking a Target parking lot so you know it has left me uh, impressed in a good way um, you know you don't hear Corpus Christi mentioned among like incredible cities or anything like that um, you know, Texas beaches obviously aren't as nice as Florida beaches, but they've done something better. Like in Florida, despite having better beaches, they'll never let you drive on the beach in Florida, you know? There's so many rules and so much crap. You can't have a damn oil rig on the water. You know what I mean? There's so many rules in Florida. Here, you know, you can park on the beach, you can play your music on the beach. You know, it just seems like there's more ways to enjoy the beach. Even though the water's not as clear, and it's not as scenic as Florida beaches. There's more ways to enjoy it. I feel like snobs have kind of taken over Florida. So this is more like the working man's beach. I like it. Um, I, I really, I, I didn't want to leave actually. I, it's 3.40. It's saddening to leave. It is sad to leave this place. And that is definitely um, a good sign. Big bridges. I don't know if you guys knew this. Corpus Christi has a really decent skyline for being a city that size. Um, it's not a big metropolitan area. But the city limits still does have over 300,000 people, so the city is pretty big. Um, and there's a lot of uh, improvements and stuff. So I like the city, and I would actually, like this area between San Antonio, Corpus Christi, Houston, somewhere in here, um, if I were to move again, I would definitely say that this area is on our radar. It's on the top of our radar, you know? I like beaches in the water. I always got to be near the water. If I'm near the beach, I'm good. Like, that's my therapy. So, and I grew up in South Florida where we have some great beaches, but now there's so many people that you can't enjoy them. So, like, to be able to come here and just park my truck right on the sand and uh, listen to music in my car with the air conditioner on while I'm on the beach, that's incredible, you know? kind of reminds me of Tampa Bay but with less people look how clear that water's pretty clear right yeah. there like if you were and I like clear I like clear water like I don't like waters yeah. that are dirty so I can say I've really enjoyed um this area Padre Island was cool let's get into Corpus Christi we drove through at night but I have found that driving through a city at night you miss half half of not three quarters of what there is to see so while night drives for a city are interesting there's a lot you miss on the night drive, so I want to do a daytime drive through the city and see what it looks like. Katie, what are your thoughts, man? It's pretty. I don't care. I'm a jerk. It's pretty, and I, I know there's orcas out to, there. Yeah, I want to hear more from you. Yeah. Tell me more. It's pretty. I know there's orcas out there. There's freighters here. This is where I want to be. You like it? Yes. I like it. Not I don't even think certain members of your family would like it here. I like it. Now, what I don't know is exactly what area I want to be in because I'm not familiar with the area. Um, what's the? It's not. It doesn't seem expensive. Like, you can literally buy a house on the island for two hundred less than three hundred thousand. Yeah. I mean, you can live in a place like that for three hundred thousand. That's incredible. Like, we could probably afford a mortgage yeah. on something like that. I think it's a good investment. Because I think it's not overpriced yet. Yeah. I think Corpus Christi is kind of either un, un underrated, maybe mm -hmm. to a degree, which is good because that lets the people here know. And I like how like it feels like the you know like it doesn't feel like that southern crap where everybody's yeah. weird and everything. It just feels so normal here. I like it. And you're close to like Mac you can even go to Mexico if you wanted to. Yeah. That's cool. Um, it seems like there's like things to do here. Like yeah. you wouldn't get bored type of thing. Although I know somebody who went into Mexico and they got carjacked. Oh. Yeah. It looks kinda hood. Let's drive through here and see what it looks like. Yeah, I do I know somebody that he said you can go in the day in the daytime you can go in there. Mm -hmm. But don't don't try to go in there at night. Looks like Tampa.
Tampa or St. Pete kind of. And it does look very vacant today on the weekend. I, I love it. You know, like, there's like this white Mexican mix where like everybody's the same. There's a small African American population, but I've noticed that a lot of African Americans here are intermarried with Hispanics or white, so it seems very. Like, it doesn't feel like that. You know, like it doesn't feel like the deep south where we're from, where people are separate. It feels very. Just, everybody's kind of united. I love it. Um, is that a homeless camp right there? I oh, we got a homeless camp outside the road. Cool. Well, it looks really hood back in there. Let's see if I can get in that neighborhood. I hear there's a lot of hoods here. Whoa! Let's bicycles see. racing. Bicycle racing. streets that go the length of the city Let me see real quick. Yeah there are. See this street right here? It goes vertical. See that street where it says busy area? Take me to that busy area. GPS that busy area. I wanna go in there. I'm gonna get off at this exit and go to the secondary streets. I don't wanna be on the highway the whole time. Why are you upset? You got you're working. Yeah I know. You're gonna be a little boy. I think all the Starbucks you eat is free? Good Mexican restaurants in Victoria. Let's see, there's some hoods out here. Make sure they're Florida. open now too, because a lot of small towns close. Oh, it's got a hundred thousand people. On Let's see what it's like out here. Corpus Christi. Got beach vibes. Uh, these apartments can't be too expensive right here. Look into this area later for me what apartments cost are here. I think if we get our credit right, we can even buy a property over here. Probably. Really? 
really careful you drive the way I do. Because mm -hmm. there's a lot of motorcycles out here. Mm -hmm. If I see a Walgreens or CVS, I'm gonna drop you off real quick. I need some super glue for this thing. Mm -hmm. So if you if you see a Walgreens or a CVS, real it's quick. okay. I'm good now. see a Walgreens or a CVS or anything, I need to buy super glue for this. Because this is going to work for a little bit, but eventually that's just going to stop off. And when it does, we're going to just have to super glue because unless there's a Best Buy, but Best Buy doesn't care this type of amount. This type of amount is kind of different. It's university housing. Oh, you can't rent it? No, you can't rent it. Look at the views over here from the water. Yeah. It's, I love how there's water. You're going to take a left. Yeah. I love how there's water views and all the rest of it. I'm a little worried that there's too many motorcycle riders. Especially the way that I drive. You have to really check your rear view mirrors driving through the city. Yeah. I like it. Anyways, I need like a super glue. Because this is going to work for like a little bit, but it's not going to work forever. Some people are afraid of this place because it's so close to the Mexico border. Probably. But a lot of that's just based on people's stupid ideas. You know what I mean? Like they don't really. People don't really look at the skyline. Wow. Well, this is gonna be a beautiful drive. People don't always think for themselves. Yeah, they just whatever they watch on the news, that's what they believe, and, and they don't really realize that. Like people are terrified of this area because it's close to the border. Look at all the crap we heard. We drove right through. Which place you guys see the videos with the place we ended up in. We drove along the Mexican border on the Texas side. Places supposedly you're not supposed to go to. And that car just cut off the motorcycle. Unbelievable. Look at the skyline from here. There's like parts on this side where you can see the skyline. Look at that. Mm -hmm. It kind of reminds me of Bayfront, Tampa. Yeah. It's really cool. This city's got a lot going on for it. This city's got a lot. We're looking at the cost of housing here. Yeah. If uh, if our if we can um, swing it, we might go here. Yeah, if we. Uh, I wouldn't. I think we we could if, if it's a if we can find an area affordable enough. Mm -hmm. We could we could get a mortgage. We just gotta. I mean, we're working on fixing my credit. If we need a down payment, we could scrape it up. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Crap! A piece of property bought it for left or right? It's good. A piece of property we love on for. Are you gonna go right or left? I heard it's right. Right. Yeah. That's just turn lane. Yeah. The thing about a mortgage is I don't want like a eighteen hundred or two thousand dollar mortgage. That's ridiculous. And now with interest rates going up, forget about it. I don't want a ridiculous mortgage. Like, I want something that's manageable. Unless it's like a 15 year. And then I could see it because you're working towards something you're actually gonna obtain, there's less of it being interest. They, they say mortgage rates are gonna go up ridiculous. Yeah, yeah I wouldn't doubt it. Mm -hmm. If real estate being so valuable now to people, why would you want to lend money? When you can use the same money to buy real estate. And, then, and like the way we live, mm -hmm. renting is not really bad. Because the thing about when you buy a house, and I have to explain this to the people on the channel before, when you buy a house, you're gonna want to fix the floors, you're gonna want to change the fence, you're gonna want to change this, you're gonna remodel this, you're gonna remodel that. That could all be on somebody else. That can all be on somebody else's terms. That can be somebody else's problem. 
that doesn't have to be your problem. Property taxes might be really high here. We gotta look at that too. Yes. I, don't know what. I hear property taxes in Texas are ridiculous in a lot of places. We just gotta go up to Chuquite Street. This is beautiful. Look at this. Mm -hmm. This is amazing. I wanna keep driving all the way to downtown. Is that okay? This way. Um, I'm telling you so you can get over the bridge, honey. Eventually. But uh, yeah. for now, can I just keep driving on the water? Uh, all the way to downtown. Could. Yeah, this is gorgeous. These are downright mansions. This is like the Bayfront in Tampa. Look at the wind hitting the waves up against the rocks. Right? Yeah. The city is so underrated. Yeah. This is definitely underrated. I mean, look at that. Just rocks and stuff. This looks like California across the floor to make seven places. Yeah. Lots of motorcycles. Be really careful around here. This place has definitely caught me off guard. Yeah. Big freighter out there, you see it? Mm -hmm. So what's the place you want to eat at, Bob? Oh, I had, I forgot about that. Acapulco number one. Does it look like Alabama Mexican food? No, it looks like Texas Mexican food. Okay. I don't want no, like, I don't no. want to walk in there and be the only person to speak Spanish. No, no, no. Trust me. If I no. walk in there and Kai and Kai and, and Karen's having a birthday party for Kyle in there, we're going to have a problem. <laughs> okay, if I go in there and, 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 and Karen is having a little birthday party for Kyle, I'm the only person that speaks Spanish, but I have a problem, Katie. Okay, go I want to walk Alabama Mexican food. It's not Alabama Mexican food. Okay. I want to walk in there and be like, wow, there's no way this passes the sanitary inspection. Okay. When I walk into a Mexican restaurant, I want to be like, wow, how did this place, how did this place pass inspections? That's how you know. So you want to know if you're going to get good, authentic Mexican food? Yeah. Yes. city is so underrated. Are you guys seeing this? Look at the like, skyline over there. Palm trees and stuff. This is like awesome. This is definitely going to be on top of my favorite cities. I got to do a video of the top places I've been to. Places I really like. I did it a while back and I didn't get to one of them. Yeah. But we've been to more places since then. Yeah, we keep exploring. The more we see the This is how I would imagine driving along the coast of Mexico would look like, like going to like uh, Acapulco or Mazatlan or something. Mm -hmm. It would kind of look like this. We should get our paper, our paperwork, our uh, passport, our passports, and then like for like Mazatlan and like, all like the really like really awesome Mexican beach towns like where real rich Mexicans live. I'll blow people's minds. They'll never imagine there's places like that in Mexico. Mm -hmm. This is gorgeous. I don't got a stupid yellow building one anyway. Look at that high of the waves crashing. You see that? Shooting water like 50 feet in the air when it hits that. They got like wave statues. Whale statues. No way. Hmm. Look, like, how high the, look how high when the waves crash against that wall. I know, it's so cool. It, that, that out there looks like the scene for Free Willy. Yeah. Where it jumps out of. Mm-hmm. Willy. What caught me off guard is they actually have a skyline here.
decent one at that, real decent it's got on. over and you know how it says Morgan mm -hmm. I thought it said okay <laughs> I am blind I am blind you need help <laughs> yeah. like, oh no a place this nice is gonna have a town like that on there mm -hmm. yeah this reminds me of like I don't even know what dude. Like, it reminds me of Cuba Havana <laughs> it reminds me of Havana a lot I yeah. like it Emerald City Beach Hotel. Definitely neat. And there's more beaches over here. I know. Uh, there's be like like downtown front beaches. Yeah. Oh no, this city's on a different level. Bro. This city is like underrated. America's most underrated city. Definitely. Yeah. This is definitely America's most underrated city. Yeah. Wow, this city is yeah, like this the neatest city I've ever been in. Yeah, it's definitely underrated. Lots of families. It's on there, so there's all families with their kids. Mm -hmm. Definitely underrated. I don't know what the property tax is. I mean, there's probably a lot more you gotta look into a city. Oh yeah. I just think what happens is that probably most of the wealthy Mexicans mm -hmm. they want to live in South Texas, so you know, if they have businesses in Mexico. You know, they don't want to live down there because it's too dangerous. So they like a lot of wealthy Mexicans. They they want to have a home here, want to have a business here. Yeah. You know, and like they can run back in, in a few hours. They're back in Mexico, and they can manage their businesses down there. But then they can live in Texas. They don't have to live in Mexico. Yeah. You know, they can be safer and still manage their businesses down there. And believe it or not, if if if, if you have money and businesses and stuff, it's not hard. For a Mexican national to come to the United States legally all the time. Yeah. The problem is just um, if you don't have money and you're trying to do it without a dollar. But if you are well off, there's plenty of ways to do as, as a Mexican national to be able to come in and out of the United States as so much as you want to. Yeah. You can buy some property here. You can have a business here. You can have, you know. But a lot of Mexican nationals that are wealthy, understandably, don't want to live down there. I like how this has a situation. boardwalk. The city's this is like the most walkable city I've ever seen it. in my life. Love it. This is definitely in the rain. I gotta keep my windshield nice and cool so we don't overheat the phone. And they have bikes that you can rent, oh, yeah. the little scooters. It's got some St. Augustine vibes. Mm -hmm. yeah, this is definitely an incredible city. There's people swimming out there or canoeing. Okay, I thought they were swimming. I was like, "Well, okay, that's one way to do it." A canoeing <laughs> or kayak canoeing, canoe canoeando. Is that a word? Canoeando. Mm. How do you say it in Spanish? This just looks like a cool place you could kayak. Vamos a ir canoeando. Ah, stupid biker got me a red light. Dang it, bikers! I gotta sit here and look at people on bicycles. United States Courthouse. Mm, this so nice, man. Seems like there's a stronger millennial presence around here. There are enough millennials here. Yeah. But they're like normal millennials, like me and you. Mm -hmm. They're not like the stupid, like, you know, like. They're not the. What did I just hit? Well, I'm just gonna keep going. Just gonna keep going. Um, they're not like the. I don't know how to describe it. They're just normal millennials, I guess, you know? They're from families and. Girls gotta sit that bike on. Yeah. Nice. Uh, I like motorcycles. 
I, I'm just afraid of. I have a horrible story on motorcycles. Okay, now we can go to that restaurant anymore. Let's go. Okay. I'm really upset that there is one Puerto Rican restaurant. Mm -hmm. I wish there was more. I, did, I wish they had a few restaurants. Street. And they can take me to that restaurant. Feet, turn left onto North Chaparral Street. And also, we'll likely do a hoods video too for the city. We're just going to show you guys the good stuff. And there's better stuff over there too. Right. But they got a black dog. It reminds me of Tampa <laughs> a lot. The city really reminds me of Tampa. Every city it reminds you of Tampa. <laughs> But I'm not even, that's what they look like. What do you want me to say? They look like Hialeah? Turn uh, left. Oh no, Albuquerque, they look like Hialeah. Yeah. So left here? Yeah, turn left. If you were going to find a comparable for this city, would it not be Tampa? In 1,000 feet, use yeah. any lane to turn left onto I-37. This is like if Tampa and St. Petersburg were one city in one place. Mm -hmm. And there's water, it's just like Tampa, which is the thing that's been keeping... Somebody was telling me that in Monterrey, you're, Mexico. You're turning left here, love. One yep. of our subscribers is telling left. Use any yep. lane to turn left onto I-37 South. One of my subscribers is telling me that in Monterrey, Mexico, there's some type of rock, American rock scene. Mm -hmm. I guess, you know, there's a lot of Mexican stuff on the U.S. side. There's also a lot of American stuff on the Mexican side. Yeah. So what they're telling me was go into Mexico mm -hmm. and check out the American stuff on that side. Mm -hmm. Apparently, like in Monterey. 600 feet, use the right two lanes to turn right onto North Shoreline Boulevard. You're going to keep going and go up to Shoreline. So, th apparently, there's like a rock scene in, in Monterey, Mexico. Use the right two in Monterey, lanes to turn right onto North from Shoreline what I've Boulevard. heard, is very wealthy. Mm -hmm. Very wealthy, very cultured city. Like, like they're almost like Continue the Boston. For six miles. Mm -hmm. They're like the Bostons or the New Yorkers of Mexico. Mm -hmm. I think Guadalajara and Monterrey are two cities where like the people like they feel like they're better than other Mexicans. Yeah. They look up down on other Mexicans like okay. it's just Mexicanos no son de dinero y ni como nosotros. Da 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 da. Tú eres golosa, golosa. Yo tona cuando estamos en la H con ella quiere tres o cuatro. There's a song I listen to about Monterrey. I just can't remember what it is. Something about Monterrey. Anyways, when we go to Mexico, mm -hmm. Monterrey is definitely on my list of cities yeah. I want to see. Monterrey. I don't want to say Culiacán, but I'd be afraid to go there. Yeah. Oh, scary place. Mazatlán. Acapulco. That's really dangerous. Really? Yeah, yeah. Baja. Yeah, Baja California would be a good option. Um, I think Monterrey would be a good option. I think Guadalajara and Monterrey would be good starting points for Mexico. And maybe Mexico City. I would definitely pass on, on Acapulco right now. We gotta get our passports and yep. we'll be there soon. They're getting tired. They want us to go international. Yeah, they do. They're, like, they, they're saying either Canada. I don't want to say if we go to Santa Canada. Would you, would you watch a, a video about going somewhere in Canada? I mean, not really. I mean, Canada, like, is... It's more... Uh, they say it's normal. And then Mexico, <laughs> they say it's, like, dangerous. <laughs> it's, it's all about what we... Like, obviously, we're not gonna, I wouldn't go to Mexico in this truck. Uh -uh. This is just, like, take me with you type of... This truck screams, you know, take it. Mm -hmm. We'd have to get, like, a little... Maybe our Yukon, and I could like spray paint the wheels a different color or something for real. Why would I just rent a car there and then have it be local plates? How about our Yukon? Our Yukon looks pretty trashy, doesn't it? Stance. Doesn't our Yukon look pretty trashy? Eh, probably. You know what I don't understand about vehicles? I don't understand how vehicles don't just all of a sudden like go over a speed bump and crack their own windshields. You ever thought about that? Mm -hmm. like, like you're just driving down the road and like the whole car crumbles and boom your windshield smashes. This is awesome. They do if there's like a crack in the windshield. What if there isn't a crack on What if like just your car's like let's say you're driving your car it's so crappy that like the whole thing just collapses on top. Well then the glass would be Stay bad on topic, woman. We're talking about going to Mexico. Okay. 
I'm horrible. I get us off topic and then I get my because we're not on topic. Is there any place in Mexico you're going to go? And please don't say the stupid Mayan statue because everybody's gone to see that crap. No, uh, Cancun. I've been there. The airport. That counts. It does? I've been there. Wouldn't you want to like... See the rest of it? Yeah. See what it looks like outside the airport? Merida. Mm -hmm. Which is in Quintana Roo. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of Cubans there, by the way. Mexico City. The problem is that Mexicans like kidnapping Cubans. I'm, I'd be more afraid to be a... Like, if I went to Mexico, I would pretend to be a gringo, not a Cuban. Because they like to kidnap Cubans. Just Cubans talk are like in cash, English. Cubans are like cash cows in Mexico right Just now. Just talk English. Like, hola amigos, uh, yo soy americano, no cubano, por favor, no tocar. Don't you speak Spanish with a... Mexican accent? Yeah. Yeah, I can definitely pull off. Not on perp. Like, I have to have a Mexican firm. Like, show me a photo of Mexican and I can do it. I'm dead serious. If I don't have a Mexican firm, I can't do it. Show me a photo of a Mexican. Like, look up a Mexican. If you show me a photo of Mexican, I can totally talk Mexican. I can sound like, like a Mexican-American that grew up here, but like has Mexican parents. I have to have a Mexican in front of me. No, you weren't helpful. Look up... Um, Google is trying to ask me if I was helpful. If it was helpful, it was not helpful. Not a game banging Mexican. Come on, dude. Like a normal Mexican. Hey, Holmes. <laughs> hey, tienen tacos? Hey, wow, todos esos tacos están bien buenos. That's a Guatemalan lady. That is Mexican uh, lady. You're not. You're not good at this. You're really not. Like, show me like a regular Mexican person. Like. There you go. Hola, señor. Uh, me gustaría tener unos taquitos um, con crema. Uh, por favor, es para llevar porque andamos un poquito apurado. Es que cierran el lugar a las seis y andamos tarde. Uh, gracias, señor. Te agradezco. Sí, pues unos taquitos. See, I can do it. But I have to have a Mexican in front of me. If I'm not looking at a Mexican. Like, I couldn't do that unless I'm looking at a Mexican. That's weird. And if there's a Mexican in front of me, I just turn Mexican. But if it's like a game in Mexican, then I just struggle to know what's happening. I'm like, what you looking at, Holmes? Go Raiders! How far are you from this place? We are... Oh, I guess skateboarding is a thing here. Oh snap, he landed it too. Eight minutes. Hummers. I can't believe I missed Sunday fun day in Houston for this. Jose. What? You can still make it? This is awesome. What are you talking about? I was supposed to look at people swinging on swings, poking out wheels, and green line versus red. I don't know. I saw this on YouTube. It all happens today in Houston. That just means we have to come back to Houston. Sunday. It's a Sunday. We're near Houston. We're here. <laughs> Tough call, man. Tough call. This is one of the nicest days that I've had in a while. <laughs> you say it's the nicest day, and you're like, ah, I'm not in Houston. Hmm? You're like upset you're not in Houston, but then you're happy you're here. Yeah. I could simultaneously live two lives at once. Mm -hmm. Oh, this life is good here too, but I can definitely do this life as another one. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, we could definitely get our passports and go to Mexico, but I, I, I would be more comfortable in the... Actually, the Yukon is a popular vehicle. Like, we need something different. Like, we need something that... The Yukon... Take it off the wheels it's on now and put the crappier looking wheels on it. The wheels it has on right now, it's not going to go to Mexico with those wheels. It's a popular car either way. You can mm -hmm. just put over what your like, rooms they want on it. That's not how Mexico works. Mm -hmm. No, but we take the wheels off that it has now. And we put like some like real base stock looking wheels. Mm -hmm. So that it looks like, no, like you know like the, the spare wheels looking? Like we'll put those on there. If the paint's already shipped. We'll throw some mud on the side. And like, it'll look like a car that belongs in Mexico, you know? So as we're driving through there, you know we have United States tags. It doesn't look like, you know, you want a car that doesn't look like draw attention. Like this right here, this will, they'll take this from us in a heartbeat in Mexico. Why don't you just rent a car? Like fly into Mexico? Yeah. And then rent a car. I kind of like road tripping. Mm -hmm. Road tripping is so much, you have so much freedom. There's no boundaries on what you can do. Like, we ended up here. This wasn't in our plan to be here. Mm -hmm. We just ended up here. That's the beauty of, you know what I mean? That's the beauty of it. We just, we just randomly ended up here. It's not bad, like find them. Once we get our passport, mm -hmm. we can fly into Monterrey. Mm -hmm. And then that'd be one weekend, right? And then the next weekend we can fly into the side left. Wow. That's Florida big in Texas. Everything's bigger in Florida. Mm -hmm. Your rent payment, your unemployment rate. school with a lot of kids from Texas. Hmm. Yeah. We're cool. Oh, Those are apartments going in. Yeah. The Alexa? The Alexa. Luxury apartments. Turn right onto Airline Road. Turn right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Airline Road. Yeah, with a view like that, I can definitely make some YouTube videos. Like, just... With a view like that... You on Airline Road <laughs> for one and a half miles. With a view like that, bro, I can make some YouTube videos for real. Like creative ability. Actually, you know what's really weird mm -hmm. is that you think, oh, if you're in a good setting, your creative ability is better. It doesn't always work. That out doesn't like always it. work out like that. Yeah. I, I figured that out. Mm -hmm. Because then you're too busy trying to enjoy life, and you're not really able to focus on your videos. Mm -hmm. It's like it, it's a distraction. Yeah. You probably do best in a closet. <laughs> If that was the case, I'd be making some incredible videos right now. No, like literally put your office in the closet and see yeah. how it goes. Well, there, they've, there's some uh, some artists and creators that have said that they struggle. I really don't care about editing videos. Like I do them because I have to. Mm -hmm. That's just like being on the road. If I could just do this we're doing right now, yeah, like endlessly travel America. But you got to talk about the places that you saw. Yeah. Top 10 best places to move to in 2021. Dude, the size of the pickup trucks out here. You see that thing? Mm -hmm. Like people literally have no problem spending a hundred thousand dollars just pipping on the ride out here. Mm -hmm. All clean money. Mm -hmm. Hey, just going, hey. There's somebody right now typing. Why well, you got a hey, Holmes? 
me hijo es muy bueno, no hace nada mal. Es un delincuente, muy bueno. Es por ahí. Para el dinero, yo lo hago. Anybody who hates is just a hater. Envidioso. You're just mad because you ain't got it. on the right. I like this. This is a very stereotypical American name. Yeah. I have really enjoyed Texas. Mm -hmm. I can tell you that I can really see myself living here. It's across this, it's over there and it's across the street from that 88 thing. So it's not over here? No. So why is it showing over here on the map? It's not. You're looking at the map wrong. So yes, I do see us in the future doing some international travel. Mm -hmm. I do. There's stuff in the United States we haven't done, like Los Angeles. And please, if you're watching from Los Angeles, we'll get to you. Don't worry, we'll get to you. We'll get to you, bro. We'll get there, bitch. Head north on airline road. Head north on airline road. Where's the say Tamales? Rose's Tamales. Mr. Jason's Deli, bro. See ya, Sprouts. Sprouts. They're closing the Whole Foods of Montgomery. I'm not, not surprised. surprised. Yep. They didn't even have anything that whole. Like, you it was whole like Foods. the tiniest Whole Foods I've ever been in my not life. Not only that. Not only that, they didn't have anything. Yeah. They like, if you go to Whole Foods, you want to eat like some bison. Like, there was times when I was in Alabama, I'm like, I'm gonna eat a bison, bro. And I went to Whole Foods, like, they'll have bison, and they didn't. Mm -hmm. Okay, I love this guy, bro. Just so I can screenshot his truck and use it as either a cover photo or steal his idea for my truck. I wouldn't do something that obnoxious, though. Mm -hmm. I don't know a truck this nice. I thought about doing a YouTube theme on this truck. Mm -hmm. I just don't know how it would look. Like red and white. A la mera. Hey, you want to go eat at the Metal Quest Boy? No. No, Dairy Queen. No. You want to move for Dairy Queen? No. She likes Dairy Queen. Ah! She likes Dairy Queen. Uh, what is this person doing and why are they driving? Oh my, they're elderly, it doesn't matter. What are you gonna say? You're gonna, you're gonna flick them off? They're elderly, it's your grandma. Okay, I see where we're going. Yeah. It's like once you're elderly, it doesn't matter how you're driving. It's like that's the one thing about being is it straight ahead or going? I can side? see it right there. You see where it's yeah. got the roof and the Once you're elderly, yeah, <laughs> a bunch, there's a bunch of roofs over there. You see the moment of roof on it? The red roof. Once you're elderly, you can just do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Like, you see an elderly person driving the wrong way, what are you going to do, flick them off? You can't flick them off, they're elderly. Mm -hmm. At that point in life, you earn your right to drive the wrong way. Who's going to tell an 86-year-old woman that she can't drive the wrong way because she feels like it? You're going to get out and hit her? No, you can't do anything. I've seen your dad do some interesting things on the road. He's terrifying on the road. He's lucky to hear. How much luck? Mm -hmm. Let's talk about his pure luck. Yeah. That he's only had like 10 accidents. <laughs> he's Half had... of the accidents are oh, like not even his fault. And that's the other thing. The accidents yeah. he does get into are never his fault. 
Like, I crashed. I'm like, oh, no, I knew you were driving by. He's like, no, 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 no. They backed up into me. I'm like, it wasn't you. He's like, no, it wasn't me. I'm like, you sure? <laughs> you <laughs> sure it wasn't your you fault? Sure? He's you like, sure? no, no, no. The ladies on video saying she did it. I'm like, oh. Okay. Well, in that case, let's collect the insurance money and do it again. Just playing, people. No, he's actually had like ten accidents. Yeah. Like if you were to buy, if you were to pull up his car, on um, what's that thing called? Um, what's that thing with the like measure? Carfax. On Carfax, you'd be horrified. You'd be like, his old car. Yeah. Oh, he doesn't have it anymore. Right? He switched cars or something. Right. Yeah, he did. He did. He did. I forgot that. Yeah, you'd be horrified if you pulled up his car in Carfax. You'd be like, well, this car's been involved in eighteen accidents. It's been painted six <laughs> times. <laughs> what? On earth? Since brain pain six times, let's be clear about that. He he likes to fix things himself. himself. I'm like, Dad, I don't it to know the if shop. I can get out here because the mirror. And is it the mirror or is it your belly? I was like, you're like a foot away from the car. I know I'm gonna get hit. I'm just gonna drag this out as long as I can. Well, hop out. Hop out. Mm -hmm. just, hold on, hold on, I'm standing for This is part of my pants. Be able to fit us in there. Okay. Anyone be ready to leave or Keep your phone on so you know. I'll get me as close to the sun as possible. I'm a complete idiot, ain't I? I'm just a jerk. Let's just be honest about that. Yeah. I'm a jerk. I know it. Well, wait, we'll hit the house. <sighs> Let's go. Here you go. Mm -hmm. See, here's the thing about this truck. It doesn't have electronic. My tow motors are not electronic, so I have to manually. Do it. I have to do this manually. Can we get out there? Yeah. Is uh. I've got more than enough room. Okay. Oh, my window open. Starts again. My tow motor is not like the ones for you. Bird pooped on my window. One of the seagulls pooped on my window. Right over there. I gotta be real careful not to scratch this dude's truck. I put my hand right here so that my hand touches this truck. Right there. My hand in the uh, my door. Ah, right there. world of trucks. Y'all don't know that. Some y'all don't know. The world of trucks. <sighs> Love you, Carol. I'm going to you inside in a minute, right, babe? Okay. I'm going to get this video exactly in one hour. Okay. That way it looks like I'm cool. I'll be in there in a minute, right? And here we are. In the world, according to Jose. Awesome. Awesome, 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 bro. You got all these. You got an armadillo chiropractic. Mars. Expensive cars in the city. Lamborghini, right? Alright. Well, make sure you guys hit the like and subscribe button. And we'll keep bringing you this good content. I know I'm a jerk, guys. I'm working on it. Nobody's perfect. Nobody's perfect. Oh, snap. Yeah, buddy. Well, off to you guys. Feels nice and warm out here. I want to get this video exactly to one hour. I try to do it whenever I can. Not always possible, but we try. <laughs>